In this video, we're going to discuss part priorities in regards to assemblies in GrabCAD Print. To get started, I've brought in this assembly file that has 10 unique bodies. And you'll notice to the right of each of these bodies is a number contained in a circle. If we hover our cursor over one of these numbers, we get this pop-up that says, for an assembly of overlapping shells, part priority can be validated and reassigned. Higher priority shells will override lower priority ones, and the lower the number, the higher the priority. What this really means is, when I have parts that overlap, so in this case I have a large clear shell or large clear block, and inside of that block I have many bodies uh, self-contained. In order to ensure that, in the example here, my butterflies print inside of the clear block and they are not completely engulfed by the clear, they are automatically set as a higher part priority to ensure that where they overlap with the clear, the butterflies will be printed. So if we look at our list again here, our number one priority is this spring. This kind of mock spring up top. It is the smallest part in this assembly by volume. The smallest parts will always get the default top priority. So if I go number one, I've got the spring. Number two, I've got this text. Three, I've got the stem. And then I probably get more into the butterflies. If we look at this text right here up front, we can see it's completely contained in that clear cube. If I were to give it a lower priority than the main cube, since it's entirely contained, it will essentially be eliminated and it will not print. So to show that, and also to show how I can change part priority, I'm going to go to my least prioritized body, the overall shell or cube, right click, go to part priority, and change from the default 10 to number 1. And you'll notice that because almost everything was contained in the clear cube, it's all completely gone now. If I were to hit print, I would essentially get an entirely clear, clear cube and maybe what looks like a little bit of my green, uh, top of my green sphere that pokes just outside of the cube. If I brought in a part file and didn't see bodies that are supposed to be contained within another body or overlap a body, I can go back, right click on that particular body, and again, change the part priority back to 10. And now I have all contained bodies in this larger cube. 